way you have never reached before. Let me tell you something. It is our duty to come in your way with the word of God. And it is your duty to evangelize the word by just pressing on the like button. God bless you so much that you are going to share this video to bless the life. Daddy, welcome on board. Please, this is Eagle Side family. And Eagle Side, this is Reverend Prince Joshua Ufuri Apia. I love him so much. Daddy, the platform. We thank you so much, and I want to also bless the Lord for your life. Also, for um, Zion, uh, we give glory to God for your Hallelujah. life and for all that He's doing um, through Eagle's Heights. And um, it's a privilege and an honor for us to be able to share this time Hallelujah. with you. Yes, Lord. Um, as the name of this ministry goes, Eagle's Heights Family. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I love the name, the name and uh, attachment with Eagle. Mm. And um, pertaining to the theme of this conference, pertaining to the theme of this conference, mm. we, we are dealing with, dealing with family altars. And one thing we need to understand is that whenever the eagle is faced with a storm, mm. the eagle has two main ways of, mm. of facing the storm. Mm. One is that whilst all other birds are running away, the eagle will look for a stone. That is close to the shores and then the eagle will fix its claws mm. on the on the on the stone mm. so when the storms beat it or hit it it will still be standing at one place mm. whilst all other birds are running away the eagle will be facing the storm mm. put and boot for boot mm. and the other what the other way is that whenever the storm is coming and all other birds are running away the eagle will 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 fly towards the storm mm. there is an upward current that mm. the storm is carrying mm. and so whilst the eagle is meeting that particular storm what happens is that that upward current will push the eagle to go up and once the eagle goes up it will not flap its wings rather the current from the storm will be pushing it up it will be going far and farther into the sky mm. hallelujah Amen. and so i want somebody to get ready with the word of the lord okay. because an eagle is about to ha, fly ha, it doesn't matter the storms mm. that you are facing up mm. it doesn't matter the things that are breaking your heart mm. eagle i speak ha, to you ha, by the word of god for they that wait ha, upon ha, the lord ha, ha, they shall renew their strength ha, ha, get ready to mount ha, up with ha, wings ha, as ha, eagle ha, ha, i speak into your life. Mm. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint. Mm. Ha, listen to me, ego. You are sowing high in, in the Jesus name of Jesus. Name. Listen, this storm will not kill you in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. And one thing about the eagle is that the eagle is an animal that always finds solution. Mm. You are a solution to I the problems around it. you. You are a solution Amen. to the problem. Shall we pray? Wherever you are, begin to lift up your voice and begin to speak in tongues wherever you are. Lift up your voice. Up. You may be in your room. You may be in a taxi. Tell the person that doesn't please excuse me. I begin to speak in tongues. Up. Uh, you may be in a church. Or tell the person by you please excuse me. Begin to speak in tongues. Up. You are in your room. Come on, blow up. At the Glory be to Jesus, Father, I give you glory. Jesus, I give you glory. Holy Spirit, I give you glory. I have no word of myself. Jesus. You are the word, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the one that guides us into all truth. Oh, yes, Lord. And you are the revealer of all truth. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you are the express image of yes. the Godhead. You reveal the Godhead. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, you reveal Jesus yes. through us. Mm -hmm. It is my prayer that let Christ be revealed tonight. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, it is my prayer. That Holy Spirit take control. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. 
thank you in the name of Jesus. Aligra so de besheta. Toni meliende kabasude ya. In Jesus name. Satan you have been defeated. And Jesus made a public spectacle of you. Two thousand years ago. We stand today by the grace. And by his anointing on our lives. We enforce the victory of Calvary today. That Satan you have no right to work. In Jesus name. And the people of God shout amen wherever you are. Amen. Okay, we bless the Lord. Thank you so much, man of God. Thank you so much, Eagles Heights family, for this opportunity to share the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to deal with dealing with family altars. Dealing with family altars. And I am privileged that uh, I have been given this honor to start the program. Hallelujah. I am so privileged. The reason is because... You know, mostly when we talk about dealing with family altars, when we talk about dealing, we are so quick to start bombarding and, and lifting up some prayer mm, and calling down mm, some fire. Mm. But I'm, I'm coming tonight with a different approach My by the leading of, leading of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And so tonight I'm sharing with you on the team, repairing the altar of God. My God. Repairing, repairing the altar, the altar of, of God. God. And because within this week we'll be talking so much about altar, let me take this opportunity to, to deal with altars. And you may be aware, but listen to me. The Lord bless you. Friend, listen to me. That before any agenda can be implemented, there has to be a meeting place. Okay. Before any agenda will take place, there has to be a meeting place. Okay. And so, for example, before financial transactions can take place, mm. business parties would have to meet at the bank. Okay. Am I, am I talking sure. to somebody? So they have to meet at the bank and make some financial transactions. Sure. Now, <clears throat> proper a proper place of meeting is required for marital proposal and acceptance. Mm. You ladies you're listening to me, you 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 will not take it light with a guy who mm. meets you by the roadside and proposes and ride them by the roadside. You will give you will give no 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 no. You will not give any a hit to a guy who proposes to you at the marketplace right there. He says, he meets you, say, I love you. I love you. you love me for what? Where did you where did you first mm. get in contact with me and mm. say you, you love who? Where do you know me? Where do you know uh, me? Am I talking to somebody yes, here? Yeah. So so before, before uh, there, there has to be a setting, mm. some meeting place. You see, mm. the guy would have to probably take you to a restaurant and, mm. and then maybe light a candle mm. and then and in the all of that he he want to bow with a ring and mm. say Will you marry me? And that's certain. If the lady is not ready, mm. something mm. Will, will go out. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the same way, another thing is that teaching and learning is best achieved when the teacher and the students meet in the classroom. Okay. You, you, you can't teach on the tree. Mm. Even in Ghana, here we said schools under trees, we are trying to eradicate them. Sure. So we will need a proper classroom setting. Mm. For, so we, it tells you that, in fact, in fact, you know, tonight our president is going to give a telecast. He's mm. going to speak to the nation. Mm. Before you will come tonight, there has been several meetings with his cabinet and sure. very uh, other stakeholders. Sure. And, and, and after that, that is what he's going to talk to us. Sure. Am I talking to somebody here? So, so there cannot any agenda before it can be implemented. Mm. There has to be a meeting place. And, okay. and, I, and, and Frank, listen to me. In the same manner, for anything mm. in the spiritual realm to manifest in the spirit, physical realm, okay. deity must he meet humanity. Mm. Secret. For anything to happen, anything in the spiritual realm to manifest in the physical realm, deity must meet humanity. And the meeting place of deity and humanity is altar. Mm. So therefore, listen, before Jehovah God would do anything on earth, he made it that he had to meet a human being at a place. Okay. And that place is an altar. Mm. That this Satan and his kingdom has copied. Thus, before they will do anything, they first transact it by an altar. Mm. Friend, listen to me. We talk about altars, and unfortunately, we make it man of God, we make it look as if that altar is only a link with evil and bad. No, 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 no. Look at the name of God. We call him Alpha and Omega. Alpha means originator. He started it. He began it. He he originated, he created it. And Lucifer, who is the who was the light bearer mm. and was close to God, he knew those secrets, and so he has also faked it and he's using it. He has made a counterfeit of it okay. and he's using it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so God made it that for humanity to meet divinity, there has to be an altar. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And so please, I want you to understand that there are, in as much as there are evil authors, there are good authors. My God. In as much as there are evil authors, there are good authors. Mm. Hallelujah. In as much as there are evil authors, God has also got authors. Therefore, God has altered just as Satan has altars. We must understand it. That just as say we see demonic altars and we try to talk about it and try to invoke it, God has also got altars. Mm. God has altars. And if Satan and demons and witchcraft make use of altar, how much more the originator, the originator. how much more My the God, God who made it oh, and he will not make use of altar. God has also got altars. Mm. Mm. But friend, let's look at the essence of what altar. Mm. The essence. The, the reason why there are altars. The essence. Why there are altars. One is that altar is a place of intimacy. Okay. <coughs> altar is a place of intimacy. Altar is a place where God meet human beings. God made it that altar is a place where God meet human beings or where evil spirits meet human beings. Okay. Are, are we together? Yes. And your altar attracts the presence of God. Okay. Your altar attracts the presence of God. And if it's a good altar, that is where it's attracting the presence of God. If it is an evil altar, it attracts the presence of evil spirits. Okay. Uh, are we are we together? Yes, uh, and so and so, this will determine whether you will have angels or demons around you. Mm. Your altar will determine whether you will have angels or demons around you. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, and so, people of God, we need to understand this: that that your altar is really really important because your altar represents your intimacy with God. Mm. We have a lot of Christians today who don't have intimacy with God. You see, if you don't have intimacy with God, your mystery, your ministry is the overflow of your intimacy with God. And so you can have ministry, and if you are not having intimacy, then your ministry will become industry. Okay. And so we need to we need to uh, align with this and understand that your altar is your place of intimacy where you get communion with God, where you become close, where you are so tight with God, where between you and God there isn't anything that separates you. It is your secret place. Your uh, secret place. And God. then the next thing is that altar is a place of control. Mm. Altar is a mm. place of control. Mm. Altars are used to demarcate boundaries of territories and places under one's control. Mm. And so if you look into the Bible, you will even see that when, when people are taking or nations are taking control by a place, the first thing they will do is that they will build an altar in that place. Abraham was asked by God to leave his family and his people and then you should go to a land that he will show you. Listen to this. When Abraham reached the promised land, the first thing that Abraham did was that he built an altar to the Lord. Lord. And that means that he says that God take control mm. over this place. So, so your altar determines mm. Okay, Papa. Your altar determines the power that controls you. Mm. So if it is God's altar, okay. and, and it's a place of intimacy, then get ready. The supernatural power of God is about to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. But if it is an evil altar, then unfortunately for you, demons and satanic influence will be rampant in your life. But I pray for you today that may the altar of God be repaired in our lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Now, the third the third thing I want to deal with is that altar is a place of legislation and transaction. Mm. Altar is a place of legislation Man. and transaction. Your altar determines your victory. Your altar determines your victory. It means that your the altar with, with the altar that backs you will determine whether you will win or you will lose. Mm. If you look at it critically, yeah, you realize that the battle between David and Goliath was a battle between altars. Okay. When David reached that place, he didn't need a sword. He only needed an altar. Okay. Then Goliath made the mistake of his life. He cursed David by his God, mm. his altar. Mm. Then David said, I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Oh, the, 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 the word, the name of the, the name, the Lord of hosts means 
the God or the captain of the armies of heaven. Okay. In other words, David was invoking all of heaven against Goliath. So David was standing there as a young boy, a small boy, but spiritually, spiritually. the host of heaven were backing him. Joshua was going to fight Jericho. Hmm. But when Joshua reached there, he met an angel. I will talk about that angel later. Okay, Papa. And he said, Who are you? He said, I am the captain of the host of the armies of God. Or the captain of the host. And it was out of this particular statement we have there. The song Captain of the Captain of Israel host and guide. And then you realize that that, that angel was 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 backing the Israelites with the host of heaven, the armies of heaven. Praise the Lord. And so your altar will determine whether you will win mm. or you lose. Are, are we together? Yes, Papa. <clears throat> the reason why in the book of 1 Samuel 7, um, um, no, I think um, after, before 1 Samuel 7, the reason why they were able to defeat the Israelites and they captured the altar is because the altar was desecrated. Mm. Okay. 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 Are we together? Yes, Papa. By hopefully finish us. Mm. And those who have who have aligned with other kind of behaviors, may your altar not be desecrated. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen to me, people of God. Your altar determines how far you will go in life and in destiny. Okay. Your altar will determine how far you will go in life and in destiny. Okay. Your altar determines your labor and your favor. Okay. Mm. <laughs> your altar determines your labor and your favor. You see, like I was saying, by this transaction here. Even in the demonic world and the dark kingdom, a witchcraft will stand by an altar, mm. will stand by a pot, will stand by water in a calabash or in a, a water or by a mirror. That mirror is an altar. Mm. Then they will legislate and make transactions that as soon as see this brother or this sister, we invoke your name mm. and they invoke that person, mm. they cast spell on the person. Mm. Listen. An altar is a spiritual technology okay. by which spiritual things are transferred into the physical realm. Okay. Okay. Transactions are made. They make laws by the altar. Mm. That is why, you see, somebody would want somebody to go through disgrace. Then they will stand by this altar, pouring libation and making declarations by this altar. What are they doing? They are legislation. legislation. They are making laws that this thing must happen. Oh, Jesus. Mm. If mm. they can do so because they copied it from God, then we as children of God, that is why Jesus said, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we lose on earth shall be loose. Why? Because we are legislating. Then Jesus said, when you pray, say this, our Father in heaven, your name be hallowed. Then he says, start legislating. Mm. Your kingdom, your control, your dominion, power, authority, be accepted on that. Then he says, your will be done. It means by this altar of prayer, mm. you legislate and make transactions that God, what you have planned in your mind, mm. Paul said, I have not seen, mm. ear has not heard, mm. neither has it entered into mm. the heart of man. What God has planned for them that love him, mm. except that he has revealed it to us by his spirit. Verse 10, for the spirit searches all things, all yes, things. the deep things of God. God. And so the Holy Spirit will give it to you by revelation. Mm. And you must stand by your altar in prayer and legislate that this thing that God has said must be picked from the spiritual context and be made implemented in the physical contest. Mm. From today, From we are repairing the altar of God. Name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, mm. we give you glory. Mm. <coughs> we give you glory. Mm. And so by these altars, demons and satanic powers do so many things. Mm. Oh, Jesus, I give you glory. But I want us to read this text. It's quite long, and we'll pick something from it. Okay. We are talking about repairing the altar of God. We are reading from Judges chapter 6. We will read the whole chapter. You can make time and read the whole chapter. But we are reading from Judges 6, verse 7 to 13. Then we jump from 9, there to 19 to 21. And then we will jump from 24 to 26. Mm. So I'm reading Judges 6, 7 to 13. When the Israelites cried to the Lord because of Midian, he sent them a prophet who said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. I brought you up out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I snatched you from the power of Egypt and from the hand 
of all your presses, and I drove them from before you and gave you the alarm. I say to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, but you have not listened to me. The angel, now it means that at this particular point in time, if you look at the life of the Israelites, for several years they have been in captivity. They were under oppression of the Midianites. The Midianites were oppressing them. But also, what gave the Midianites that particular warranty to control Israel? Mm. The people of God, the, people. the covenant children, mm. what gave them the right? Mm. If you look by the preceding scriptures, the scriptures that the text that follows, you realize that just as he said, you have not listened, meaning they have gone to serve the gods of the Amorites. Okay. Do you know these gods? Mm. That is Ba and Asherah. Okay. Time will not permit me to talk about Ba and Asherah. Maybe I can do that, I will do that tomorrow. But if you look at Ba and Asherah, mm. the Israelites are serving Ba and Asherah. Mm. And once you are serving Ba and Asherah, you have to build their altar in your home. Mm. And it's said by the uh, by, by extra biblical books that you know they will they will build the altar either in their home or in their farm. Okay. And they will make all kinds of sacrifices. Don't forget, your altar determines who controls you. Mm. So once they are built and submitted to the altar of Ba and Asherah. Mm. They indirectly has asked God, God, stand aside. Stand so aside. God stood aside. And so when they submitted to that altar, friend, the mm. altar you submit to, they build that altar and say, God, we don't need you. Mm. And they submitted to Ba and Asherah. Mm. And once they submitted to Ba and Asherah, friend, listen to what happened. Mm. They have allowed themselves that the Midianites should control them. Okay. That the Midianites should oppress them. And do you know how they were oppressing them? Also, the Midianites will not be there when they are farming. Okay. When they are watering their crops, okay. their weeds. Okay. When they are putting up scrolls to drag away beds, the Midianites will not be there. Mm. In fact, when they are harvesting, they won't come. They won't come. But when they are finished harvesting and they are threshing mm. the floor, mm. they are threshing the wheat mm. on the threshing floor. Mm. Then the media mm. and they give us a prayer over us. Mm. <coughs> they will do it, and so their life were, were going in circles. Okay. The reason why some people's life are going in circles, they work so hard, and when it's time for them to enjoy a media night kind of spirit, mm. an oppression spirit, will come and eat in their life. Mm. They work so hard, mm. and by the time they are about to eat from their left, the, 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 the worker, their labor, then you realize what? Something will happen. They have to spend all the money mm. paying bills. Mm. When, when it's time for some of them to marry, at that particular moment, you see what you're mm -hmm. It's normal. It's no normal. demon will trouble mm. in your head. But when they say they won't marry, mm -hmm. my head, that money moment. will be locked. That moment. Confusion will be no, set no, in the family. No, no, no. I pray for somebody no, today. Any oppression spirit the that the devil is using to in trouble your life. Jesus. May Jehovah deal with that spirit in, in the name of Jesus. And so, this was what Israel was going through. Then God sent a, a prophet. Mm. So you look at this scripture and you continue down. You realize that they repented. Mm. Then you get to verse 11. Let's read the angel of the Lord, I want you to underline the Bible is yours. The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in offer that belonged to jo Joash, the Abiezerite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the Midianites. Wine press, eh? We, we prepare wine there. But why was Gideon beating wheat at the wine press? Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, Papa. We press wine, prepare wine. You see, at that place, they go for the grapes. And when they go for the grapes, man of God, they, they put it in a kind of a basket okay. and they wash their feet. So they start trample up on it. Okay. And they, by that, they squeeze the juice, the juice of the grapes out. But this place, instead of them squeezing, Gideon squeezing juice of grapes, he was beating wheat. Mm. Mm. He was trying to swerve the Midianites. Okay. 
that you know it, it's not the time for wheat. Okay. It's not the time for grapes. Okay. So when you come here, you will not see grapes. Okay. But instead of harvesting grapes, okay. he was harvesting wheat. wheat. My God. Why will Gideon do this? Why will he do this? After he has asked the Lord to forgive them. Mm. People of God, do you know what he's telling us? It is very important for you to give your life to Christ. Okay. okay. But you see, after forgive, after giving your life to Christ or asking for forgiveness, it's like you have entered the door. You are just by the door. You need to enter. So, after they have done this, if you read the preceding verse, let's look at what he was saying. He was beating the, 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 the wheat. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, the Lord is with you, mighty man of Ela. But sir, Gideon replied, if the Lord is with us, mm. why has this happened to us? Where are all his miracles that our fathers told us about? When they said, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now, the Lord has abandoned us mm. and put us into the hands of Midian. It means that even though they have asked for forgiveness of things, the thing was still working. The Midianites, there are things you've asked for forgiveness of things, but the things are still working. Mm. The negative circumstances are still working. Mm. Why? Are we together? Yes, Papa. Are we together? Yes, Papa. Then let's jump to verse 19. Gideon went in, prepared the young. Now, when Gideon met the angel of the Lord, mm. Mm. when Gideon met the angel of the Lord, in the Greek Vogage or translation of the Old Testament, mm. the angel of the Lord here represents a theophany. A theophany is a bodily representation of God, and Jesus Christ is a bodily representation of God. So, in this particular case, Gideon did not meet an ordinary angel, mm. he met Jesus. Mm. 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 In the same vein, in the same vein, when Joshua met that angel, that particular angel was not an ordinary angel because when he said the angel of the Lord then said to Gideon, remove your sandal, for where you are standing mm. is a holy ground. ground. And it was the same statement God made to Moses. Mm. Are we together? Yeah. So it presupposed that that angel was a theophan. Mm. Are, are we together? Yes, Papa. <laughs> so this particular angel was Jesus Christ, appearing in human form. Mm. Gideon met Jesus. <laughs> he had given his life to Christ but Jesus needed to give Gideon a revelation you are bound to catch a revelation today in Jesus name then when Gideon was talking with Christ he was talking with Jesus verse 19 he realized that no this is God this is God it's not an ordinary angel and you don't make sacrifices to angels mm. I, are we together yes, Papa. sacrifices are made to God okay so if this is an this is God then he said God wait 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 I'm coming mm. wait I'm coming wait I'm Gideon coming. went and prepared a young goat and from an ephah of flour, he made bread without yeast, putting the meat in a basket, and it brought that is soup in a pot. He brought them out of out and offered them to him under the oak tree. Now, if you continue to read, you will realize that Gideon reaching that place, he picked the bread, which is a, a bread without yeast, and then he picked the meat. Then Jesus told him, you are going to offer a sacrifice. Where is your altar? Where is your altar? See? So Gideon had to establish an altar in this place. Mm. Then he said, put it on this rock. If you study it critically in the Bible, you realize that the rock is also representing Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, are we together? Mm. Mm. Are we together? Yes, <clears throat> Verse 20, then the angel of the Lord said to him, take the meat and the unleavened bread. Place them on this rock and pour out the broth. And Gideon did so with the tip of the staff mm. that was in his hand. Mm. The angel of the Lord touched the meat mm. and the unleavened bread. And mm. fire fled oh, from the rock, God. consumed the meat and the bread. And the angel of the Lord disappeared. My God. You realize here, Gideon had to first establish and repair his altar. Okay. I'll come back to this. Verse 24. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord. <laughs> mm. Mm. The Lord there and called it Lord, the Lord of peace. It is here we have Jehovah Shalom. Shalom. Okay. Jehovah Shalom. To this day, it is it stands in offer of the Abyssinite. Now let's look at this. Verse 25. Gideon has established his own altar. Verse 25. That same night the Lord said to him, Take the second wood from your father's head. The one the, the one seven years old. Tear down the, your father's altar of bar and cut down the, the, the Asherah pole beside it. Mm. That means destroy the altar of bar and Asherah. Mm. 
Wow. Verse 26. Then build a proper kind of altar to the Lord your God on the top of this height. Using the wood of Asherah pool that you cut down, offer the second wood. Mm. So you see something. Before Gideon can deal with the evil altars of his family, mm. he has to first establish or repair God's altar in his family. Mm. It's a life. And in the Lord, we were raised by the same woman of God, um, Mrs. Patience Weberforce. Mm. De Graft made a statement. He said that if you are single and you don't learn to pray, you cannot pray when you marry. Mm. So you must establish your personal altar. If you are the ministry, the ministry must have an altar. My God. <laughs> mm. Some of these occultic pastors and others, they know this. So yes. that is why before they build their church, they establish, they establish an altar. An altar. Secret. But most of us, we don't do. You see, you mm. see, you are going to school, you don't have an altar in the school. Friend, do you know that that school there is an altar there? Okay. As for, I have been to schools by the grace of God. Sure. In these few years, we have said sure. the Lord. I have been to schools and places, mm. and they have satanic altars okay. there. Sure. Mm -hmm. There are some schools, eh? They they have invoked and spiritually there is a pool, and that pool is their altar. Yeah, okay. You don't know you were there in the school, and you are a Christian. You have no prayer altar. Have no prayer. You have no place of intimacy with God. Okay. That is why so for some of the schools they will worry you not to pray, sure. knowingly or unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't have our personal altars in place. Mm. How can you, 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 you? That is why some Christians will go and start destroying some, some satanic altars in their family physically, and they get, they die or they get injured because personally they don't have altars of God. They have not repaired the altar of God. May we repair God's altar? <laughs> you see, Agafu, when you go to Second Kings or First Kings eighteen, when Elijah. Called for the contest between him and her. They say, Ba and Asherah. The prophets of Ba and Asherah. Elijah is so prophetic okay. that he said, Let us make a sacrifice. Let us make a sacrifice. And by his prophetic wisdom, mm. he said, You first do it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Then you know what he did. Okay, well, when they had done everything and nothing was happening, if you read the Bible in that particular text, he said, verse 30, he said that when it was the time of sacrifice, okay. <laughs> mm. that was when Elijah said, okay, stop, let me now. You see, he waited until he made them do everything they want to do. Mm. Then till the time he had to make, the time for the, the, the time the Lord has earned for sacrifice. Mm. He said, let me do mine. Then you go on to that text. The Bible says that he picked 12 stones and he repaired the altar of God. Without altar, there cannot be fire. So some Christians are crying. Mm. Fire, fire. That is why no fire is coming. Mm. Because you don't have altar. You don't have altar. May God have mercy on us. Also. May God have mercy. You don't have water. You are scream fire. Your, your voice is gone. Mm. Mm. The, the reason is that you don't have water. Because listen, if you check through the Bible, 
From the tent to the temple, wherever they make sacrifices, mm. it was not the priest who literally lights the fire on the, on the sacrifice. God that himself will bring the fire. So you read the book of Leviticus. The sons of Aaron decided to light their own fire. God called it a strange fire. Mm. Are we together? So you must prepare your altar. Then God will bring the fire. Some other time we'll talk about the fire. And so you have to bring the altar in place. Repair God's altar. Elijah repaired the altar. Place a sacrifice on it. Then he said, God, he, he has to align with the principles of God. Then God released the fire. Gideon prepared his altar and sacrifice. Then fire came. You are calling fire. Where is your altar? You are screaming every evil attack in my family. I command you break, break, break. Where break? They are not breaking. They are not being destroyed. Why? You don't have an altar. Tomorrow you will realize as of, <laughs> that by this altar, God worked so many wonders. Let's look at this. Abraham reached the promised land. Mm. Then he built an altar to God. Mm. <laughs> the place he built the altar was called Luz. He built the altar. Then hundreds of years later, because Abraham stayed there for 45 years and he died. He was 75 years. He died around 120 years. So he stayed there for about 45 years and he died. Then within that 45 years, he gave birth to Isaac. Isaac lived for 110 years. So in his, in, around his old age, 100 years, that was the time Isaac was blind. And Jacob had deceived him for the blessing. So Jacob was running away. He reached a place he was tied. The place was called loose. He didn't know what has happened there. He slept with a stone as a funeral. But do you know, that was the place Abraham built an altar. Don't forget, it is a place where God meets humanity. Are, are we together? And so, the, the, when Abraham established it, he has established a portal by which divinity meets humanity in that place. And so the portal was there, and Jacob and her to that promise and covenant slept there. Mm. <laughs> mm. Then when he slept there, God revealed what was happening spiritually to him. Mm. There was a ladder, angels were ascending and descending Ascend. at that place. Why? An altar has been built today. Angels were ascending. Sister, if you will have an altar in your place, in your room, or wherever God, or you desire by the grace of God, or by the living of the Spirit. Angels will ascend and descend in that place. Ah, if 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 you see somebody will go for summa, go for go summa. You are living in a messy field. Now I pay for but not for. Yes, if you are being kind of field, you could not have you go in some hope. Now I put something at home, money but now. I did the power of the act. Then when we establish an altar for God, angels will ascend and descend in that place. Oh my God, my Father, I declare so tall. It is a place of boundary. When Abraham established that command, at that altar, he was telling, I take hold of this place. I claim it for my children. Okay. Spirit never control that place and your mother. We must establish and repair God's altar. For today, we are talking about this. Where is your place of intimacy? Where is the place where you fellowship with God? Where, which place? Which place? Where, where do you fellowship with God? You must have that altar. You must have that place of union, a place of intimacy. Sister, how can you call yourself a Christian, tongue talking Christian? Then you'll be going and say, Ah, sister, who said, Demo be the No! Is it correct? It is illegal, Ozobo. Yes, Papa. But why has the illegality been permitted? My God. Because you don't have an altar. You don't have an altar. Oh, wait, am I talking to somebody yes, here? Yes, Papa. You are, you are born again. Then if I am born again, the Bible says that angels are heirs to the servants mm. of, to the heirs of, uh, angels are servants to the heirs of salvation. Okay. When you give your life to Christ, angels are supposed to serve you. They must follow me where I am going. Sure. Then you there, after giving your life to Christ, demons are following you. Mm. You won't marry. Then, then, the guy will dream, then somebody will come and hey, be my wife alone. Papa, with all my tongues. Hey. That demon is telling me, mm. he be my wife. Be no, my no, wife. no, it's illegal. Hey. Because I saw for the minimum crowd, they say, yeah, I'm going to punch you, and I want to say, I'm going 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 to
But why is it that a Christian? Then a demon says, I have married you. I have married you. No, no, no. Oh, God. It is, it is illegal. It, it never be but why God. is this illegality being permitted? Mm. Because there is no place of intimacy mm. for the child of God. Mm. There is no place where you legislate. Are we together? Yes, Papa. And to me, a moment you are caught to obesify or sifia, no one said that you want room. Someone will be uncle, what in your mother will want to establish your altar. Yeah, Eddie Amo, yet you see if you are my Jessica Penty, yet in your mamma, you are not a man. We don't have water. I rather weigh you, I rather weigh a mobile. Yet, my mamma to be as I say, you're just as yet to one of them. I am also one of you, you go soon inside the mamma. Yet, you are caught to ya, you are telling you, Eddie. A grace of we don't have a place of intimacy. Then you see that when you want to say this room there, it is it's, it's for the law. We do our morning divorce. It's our family church place. It is our family altar. How how can I inform you already? How can I inform you? What did you tell me before? Oh, what have you? But who did my dear? And we are safe now. We are safe here. We see another one. We are safe here. Yes, here is my uncle. He is here to come and come. Hey. They have established a altar. Mm -hmm. They have established an altar. altar. May we repent in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I said, May we repent in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. You are a Christian. You see yourself. And then we don't have any place of intimacy. Hmm. Mm. Amen. <laughs> I don't want to eat into tomorrow's bone. Mm. That is mm. why mm. I want to pause. Mm. Mm. Because you know, my dear, mm. only authors was a fair man of God. Mm. Do you know the word man of God is not a title? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it okay. is a description of relationship. Okay. <clears throat> the word man of God, mm. it is not a title. Okay. It's a Talk description of relationship. Okay. It's him, Yahweh. Okay. The word used mostly there as man. Mm. There are two Hebrew words for man. Okay. Adama and Ish. Okay. And the Ish is talking about the spirit being. Okay. Adama is talking about this physical body. Okay. He said, and God formed man. That is Adama. Okay. The earth. He formed. But the word mostly used for man of God means mostly the man is ish. ish. And the ish talks about the spirit being. The, spirit being. the of God meaning a being that came out of God. Okay. Im is source. Okay. The im in Hebrew means source. source. Out of. Okay. It means that a person who is connected to God. A person who has a relationship with God. That is why Elijah could say, if I be a man of if God, I, I am here and you are going to echo to you don't have a relationship with God and you want to go and deal with a demon in your house. You don't have a place of fellowship with God and you want to go and deal with, with some inconia in your house. How can you establish your own altar? I'm talking about the altar of prayer. How? Now, for you to do this, repair the altar of God. You see, in life, there is what we call the principle of consistency. Even in psychology, mm. and habits, you continue to practice persistently, it mm. becomes a behavior. Behavior, okay. Right? Yes, Papa. In the same way, in the spiritual sense, okay. any practice you continue to put in place persistently, persistently. you will attract the spirit dimension of that practice. Okay. 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 So, for example, eh, even with our fathers and all those people, eh, the when they want to establish an altar, okay. they look for maybe a stone, a place. The first day they will slaughter an animal day, the altar okay. is not erected. Okay. But when they do it first, second, okay. third, okay. the spirit dimension they want okay. to invite will come to okay. that house. Okay. Are we together? Yes, Papa. Are we together? Yes, Papa. In the same way, you see, if you steal the first time, the spirit of test will not come. Will but when you do it one, two, three, it gets to a time, that spirit dimension of stealing will come and live in you. The person will enter a room as if the person is the having mm -hmm. the, he knows where the money he can you smell where the money is <laughs> they know where it is sure. what a spirit yeah. you see the first time you start fornicating you don't attract mm -hmm. the spirit of lust mm -hmm. but when you do it one, one two three, three. three. it con you continue like that persistently that spirit of lust and fornication will come and you attract that spirit mm -hmm. inside your life so what about this man of God if I consistently persistently mm -hmm. practice kindness, kindness I would invoke uh, the spirit of kindness in my heart my God, my God, my God. Oh, my are, God, are we together? God, yes, so, so if it works in the negative, mm. <laughs> can we do some Montemo's equation here? Yes, Papa Flo. So what is happening in the other side 
of the equal sign mm. must also happen, happen in the other side of the equal. God. If it is working in the negative sense, mm. then when I apply it in the positive, positive sense, side. it will work. In the name of Jesus. So by this law of consistency, mm. you want to build an altar to God. Mm. I want to encourage you, child of God. Listen, if you check through the Bible, there were people, human beings who were altars. Mm. <laughs> there were human beings who were altars. Mm. For example, Samuel was an altar. An altar of prayer. <laughs> he was an altar. Mm. Sometimes it is a monument, like the, 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 the sacrificial altar they okay. erected. Okay. Then sometimes it was an institution, okay. the temple that Solomon built. Mm. Mm. So, so, like Samuel being an altar, mm. Kish, mm. the son of Kish, saw. So. And he said, that the servant said, there is a CIA, let's go to him. Then he said, I don't have anything. Don't what was it? He's talking about the sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Then when they went there and they gave that thing, what happened? Mm. The donkey decided to go home. Mm. The donkey was that was meaning how to go home. Yaga, 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 and yaga. then by this particular altar, mm. a portal was open, mm. and the prophet told the man mm. what God has said about him. What God wants him to do. Don't forget, it is a place of legislation, a place of revelation, the altar. And Samuel was an altar. Mm. Your body can also be an altar unto God. Oh my God. Your body, what? Because in Second Corinthians 6, verse, verse 9, it was said, Don't you know that your body is the temple of God? And the Spirit of God dwells. So if the Spirit of God has come to live in my body, my body has become the altar of God. Mm. <laughs> then, so the first thing is that you need, in establishing an altar to God, you must give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. And you must, you must yield your life to him. So you continue that scripture. First Corinthians 6, 19, verse 20 says that you have been born with the price. So use your body to honor God. Mm. So friend, you must give your life to Christ. Nature and human being are And in plant tree, you are You can't say you are destroying the altar in the family. Now that's no one on the planet. You can't say you are destroying the altar in the family. And you are taking bride. You can say you are destroyed the altar in the family mm. and your life is inconsistent with mm. Christ. We can pray, pour on you, pour on me, no, place our hands on our legs. That thing will not go. My God. <laughs> pour on me. Pour on me. Until you pour right on. You know, you need to give your life to Christ. Mm. You need to give it to him. Mm. Friend, you must give your life to Christ. And when you give your life to Christ, you see, stop saying, Because the Bible says, You are not going to be a Christian. You can stop it. Mm. Bible says, and an angel came to strengthen mm, him. So when you say soon, soon, you say, Lord, strengthen, strengthen me. me. Strengthen us. Don't say, so for somebody ah, die, me God strengthen us. Me me God strengthen us. So for when, yeah, God men come and say, yeah, you over our sister. And what they were hoping to be a giant. And what they were hoping to be a giant. And you're my phone in your know. You can stop that thing. Stop saying, me, dear, me, dear, me, cook, you over. You can stop. You can. Because if the spirit of God is in you, you can do it. Start talking to that boyfriend bra. So when you sister, bra, so when you have the party at Amen. You must, you must give your life to Christ. And the next thing is that deny yourself. Deny yourself. Jayo, Jan, Jan, Kong, Kong, Sanya, before this, Sanya, Mania, Man, you can stop it when the Spirit of God is is working in your life. He said, "Do not be filled with one word in excess, but be filled with the Spirit." When one fills you, the one controls your mind, and once it controls your mind, we say you have been intoxicated. It controls your body and everything, your sight and your 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 vocal abilities. Are then mm. what about when I'm filled with the spirit? Meaning, let the spirit take control. Somebody tell let Holy Ghost take control of my life. Holy Ghost take control of my life. Holy Ghost take control of my life. Take control of my life. As I conclude, building an altar. First, you must give your life to Christ. Mm. The next thing is this: your body has become an altar, but you need a place where also for there can also be an altar which will also remind you. Mm. So the room where you are staying, mm. look for a place in that room. Mm. Then when you find a place, find a time, mm. a 
consistent time. You have time to eat. As of for People have time to visit their girlfriend. Sure. They have time to go for anything mm. else. Mm. But we say we don't have time for prayer. Mm. So make a time that according to my personal time mm. table, this particular time is time for prayer. Time for prayer. No course, no Facebook, God, nothing. I am just with God, my alone God. with God. God. My God. When you get that time and you get that place, then you pray and talk to God that God, God. I bring this place to you. Mm. Sanctify the place mm. by the blood of Jesus. Consecrate it as your altar. And from now onwards, let's say 12 to 1 a.m., I will be praying here. Then when you finish, consistently, you see, numbers are important. Numbers are important. So you take seven days, or 10 days, or 12 days, or 21 days. These are here, yeah, like you are doing. So I want to even challenge you, start from tonight. Sit down after this message mm. and then repair God's order. Mm. Find a place, find a time, mm. and make up your mind that from this time, every day, mm. this particular period mm. is my time of prayer. Okay. And then for seven days or ten days, these numbers, perfection, completion, okay. a number of government, government, a number of control. Mm. These are the, the, the one of the symbols of seven, ten, twelve, twenty-one. <clears throat> and so when you get this particular time, then you pray consistently at that particular time for seven days, okay. for ten days, for twelve days, for twenty-one days, as you do it wholeheartedly. Mm. You can even go for forty mm. days. Mm. As you do it wholeheartedly, mm. you will attract the spirit dimension of what you are doing. That place will become a portal. So, Baba, can I tell somebody that throughout this week we'll be coming live on Facebook and to break our seven days fasting and prayer. That is very that important. That is a number of perfection. That is it. So you too you can join us. You can tomorrow. join us from tomorrow. Okay. And so you do that thing and you start doing, you establish your personal order. You see, when you do it, it will get to a time. When the time is due, mm. it will, you will see that somebody will be tapping you to wake mm. up. Why is there somebody? God, you have attracted the presence of God in that room. Mm. You have attracted the angels in that room. So the angels will wake you up. Mm. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time. Get, get, up. Up. get up. Get up. That is why when you pray and you get to that place, you don't feel like prayer. Mm. But when you sit there, uh, some tongues will start coming up. You will feel the aura of His presence in the place. Something is doing me. You want to pray. I shared this message with a sister. She might be even online. Mm. Um, and, and he said, she started praying in that place, but she didn't know what she was doing. Mm. Then her pastor visited her. Mm. The pastor sat in the place and said, ah, what mm. have you been doing what here? What have you been doing here? Mm. He was smelling. <laughs> he, the man of God could say, what, <laughs> what have you been doing here? What have you been doing here? As of, especially, um, I've been doing this since, but yeah. especially before I got married, yeah. I prayed in my room. I, I could put in CDs ah, and I play it ah, auto, auto reverse. I'll play it, ah, I'll pray ah, and fall asleep. And sometimes in a dream, ah, you see yourself pray and you open your mouth and you start praying. Mm. And I entered my room and said, Ah, this place feels like I'm in a church. Mm. <laughs> said, I don't feel like going, it's like I'm in a church. I said, You don't know what you're talking about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. And so you need to do this to establish your own personal altar. Mm. If you have a personal ministry, you must establish this altar for your ministry. Find three weeks on days and begin to pray. And so for most people don't know. We are asking me quite so now you can't sorry. We ask me question. You must establish a personal altar. Are we together? Mm. Are we Are we together? Lift up your voice and begin to speak. Kabara do sheva da bradia. Le kabara do boshi. Le kran de bolo Le kabara. Le gruski di viente. Sede de de. Holi ke de de de. Me suli kana na na na. Atinga le 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 <laughs> 
I am a sinner. But I believe. But I believe that you died for my sins. Today, today, I repent of all my sins. Repent of all my sins. I invite you. I invite you into my heart. Into my heart. And into my life. And into my life. I accept you. I accept you as my personal Lord. My personal and Savior. And Savior. Come into my life. Come into my write, my, write my name. Write my name in your book of life. In your books of life. Let your Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. Dwell in me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now you are also here. You want to uh, rededicate uh, your life to God. You say, My Father. My Father. To you, today. I come to you today. I admit. I admit that I'm vacillating. I'm I swear from your past. I swear from your I've been doing this my own I'm way. Even though I'm going way. to church. Even, even though I sing in the park. Even, even though I preach. Even though I preach. But, today, but today, I rededicate myself. I rededicate myself to you, O Lord. To you, o Lord. That, from today, that from today, my life, my life is for you. Is for you. You are the Lord. You are the Lord of my life. Of my life. Control, me. Control me. Use me for your purpose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I will. Build the child of God. Are we together? So you want to lift up prayer. That oh God. Anything that is entangling me from praying. Any oppression. That is stopping me from praying. Destroy it by fire. Lord. Break that things out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Say my father my maker. As I pray today. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Release your consuming fire. Into my life. Into my life. Anything. That is making me a lukewarm Christian. Anything. That is oppressing me spiritually. Emotionally. Preventing me preventing from loving you, from loving and, you serving you and from serving you by the fire, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Consume, it. Consume it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Out of my life. Out of my right, now. right now. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Amen. Likewise, the spirit helps our infirmities. 
For we do not know how, how we ought to pray. Mm. So how will the Spirit help our infirmities? Verse 11 says that, For if the Spirit of Him that raised Christ dwelleth in you, the same Spirit will quicken your mortal bodies. We want to lift up prayer. That Holy Spirit should Holy stir us up. Stir up Holy up. Spirit, stir me up. Stir me up. For prayer. For prayer. Stir me up. Stir me Lord. For prayer. For prayer. Stir me up. Stir me Lord. Stir me up. Stir me Lord. Lift up your voice. Say, my Father, my Maker. My Father. As I pray by your Holy Spirit, by your Holy Spirit, stir me up, stir me up, by your fire, by your fire, set me on fire, set me on fire, stir me up, stir me up, stir your love in me, stir your love in me, stir your holiness in me, stir your holiness in me, stir your righteousness, stir your righteousness, stir your joy in me, stir your joy, stir your peace in me, stir your peace in me, stir me up, Lord, stir me up, Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray, let God of the There is a, song, a song that Andrew Crutch sang. He said, Take me back to where I first received you. Mm, take me back, Lord. You want to pray this prayer? Yes, Lord. Hey, sister, first a part, the word of the sea, you can walk to church without caring about anything. Okay. Bra, you could give to support the things of God. But today, you say, You say, You a man says, send me a suit. Mm. Catch it already. Say, ready. Take me back. Father, take me back. Holy Ghost, please take me back. Mm. Take me back to do mm. those good works. Mm. Lord, take me back. You say, Lord, re revive your works in me. Revive those things in me again. I want you, that, that God and the next, you could fast. Nobody telling you you could fast. When you are fast, they won't go to class you class without bomb by you. But today, who are dying? And so soon, three months. But first, put him in the park. So, I'm going to be here all night. Today, you have your bed, you have a fan. If you can cry, we condition all them. And so soon, three months. You are telling God, take me back. Lord, take me back. Take me back, Lord. Share, sister, you can't have a ministry without having an altar. Okay, Papa. You can't say you are doing, you and what they are doing, minister, man, and you're good. But where, where do you do your ministry? Mm. It's not on the uh, uh, church wall. Mm. You do your ministration on your altar. Mm. <laughs> mm. You want to lift up prayer. Say, God have mercy on me. God have mercy And take me back. And take me back. Lord, stir up those God good works. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Take me say, my father, take me my maker, God. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on Please, Please take me back. Take me back. To those good works. To those good works. So that I can do them again. Revive those good works in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up prayer. Come on, Yama Debosha. Ye kabriya ne 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 bosha, 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 ye k
It's a lack of appetite. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm. A sign that the person is sick is, a, is what? Lack, of, lack of appetite. Okay. So if you are a Christian and you don't have appetite for God, you are sick. You are sick. Okay. If you are a Christian and you can just get up and say, and then you mean feel sick. You are sick. Spiritually sick. Say yeah, yeah, one week prayer and fasting. No, I was a child, you mean feel sick. You are sick. Yeah. But in, your, in, in this particular context, I'm talking more about if you don't have appetite for God. Some people can just have appetite for church, yeah. but they don't have appetite for God. Are you with, are you with me? Yeah. So, so you want to tell God, give me an appetite for you. Give me an appetite for God. An appetite for you. Mm. An appetite for the Holy Ghost. Mm. Blessed are those who hunger and test after righteousness. Mm. For they shall be filled. Mm. You want to lift up this prayer. Oh God, oh God. stir up an appetite oh for you in me. An appetite for God. Stir the appetite in me. When you have the appetite, you will pray. When you have the appetite, you will fast. When you have the appetite, hey, you will go for evangelism. When you have the appetite, when Timmy can say they do meeting time, was it me No, 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 no. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. You have appetite for God, <laughs> and you go for one week without reading your Bible. Mm. Nah, nah, mm. nah. Mm. There is a problem. There is a problem. You want to pray that God today, please stir up, stir up an, appetite. an appetite for you in me. Say, my Father, my Maker. My Father, my Maker. As I pray today, as I pray today, please have mercy on me. Please have mercy. And by your Holy Spirit, and by your Holy Spirit, stir up in me, stir up in me, an appetite for you, an appetite for you. In, in, the, name in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Let's 
me right now mm. wherever you are sick lay your hands there the Lord is bringing healing to some people there wherever you are sick his Bible says that he sent forth his word to heal our diseases mm. and what is that word by his stripes we are healed wherever you are sick right now as we stretch forth our hands towards this camera Wherever you are, yes, Lord. we come to you in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Whatever be the name of that sickness, yes, Lord. we speak for the word of God. That in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. receive your healing receive right now. It now. Let every migraine the name of Jesus. go in the name of Jesus. Have it go in the name of Jesus. Arthritis, go in the in name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Epilepsy, go in the in name of Jesus. Jesus name. Any infection for which you have been taking amoxicillin mm. and antibiotics, Mamega. but you are not seeing results, Mamega. receive your healing right yes, now. Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes, receive your healing right yes, now. Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus name. We pray right now that in the name of Jesus, let the strength of God come upon you. Let the strength of God come upon you. Receive that strength. Wherever you are weak, 
For every feeble feet, yes, Lord. receive strength. Receive strength. For every feeble hand, yes, Lord. receive strength. Receive strength. In, the In the name of Jesus, receive the strength of God. In the strength of God. Right now, the power of God is coming on you right now. Wherever you are, as you are watching or listening, right now or later, receive the touch of God. The power of God is coming on you. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Mandi grace koto yata. Belika baruske tebede. I pray today. Whoever that is watching us or watch us. We pray the Lord. Yes, Lord. Let there be a release of your fire. Into that person's room. Into that person's fire. Into that person's life. Yes, Lord. We see the fire of his presence. Yes, Lord. Let every heaviness inside your room that prevents you from praying. Let it go away right now. Let it go away right now. Let it go away right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the strength of God. Receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let the fire of God yes, come upon you right now. Come upon you now. Right now. Let your room be burned with the fire of In God. The name of Jesus. Right, now, right, now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Take it. Take it now. Le kola basada. Le sodi kabada. Take it in the name of Jesus. Madi kresha. Kodi basada. Receive an appetite for God. In the name of Jesus. Appetite for fasting today. Yes, Lord. Let there be a stirring up in your life right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 <coughs> you know, man of God. Tomorrow, um, I will make it up and come. God bless you so much. And yeah, then we will talk about the the other aspect where we will be uh, um, attacking those things. Mm. But for tonight. Wherever you are, mm. make sure there is fire on your altar. In the name of Jesus. Make sure there is fire, there on, is your fire on your altar. Make sure there is fire on your mm. altar. Place a fire on your altar. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. And begin to lift up prayer wherever you are. Mm. Tomorrow we will meet same time. Same time. And Five we will lift years. up prayer. Okay. We will pray. We will pray. Some altars are coming down. Mm. So I want you to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Join the Wherever family. you are, mm. I, I see some people joining. Mm. I can see Florence, my daughter. I can see you. Mm. I can see from Germany. You are mm. also there. Mm. God bless you. Um, mm. Nana yeah. Yeah. And my daughter Florence is also watching yeah. from Tema. Tema. God bless you, Florence. And, yeah. and um, we will be meeting tomorrow. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, Auntie Julie, God bless you. Mm. Um, my, my, my sister in the house, mm. she's also on the line. Mm. God bless you, Auntie. Mm. Auntie Julie, Auntie mm. Julie, I can see you. God bless you. Mm. And tomorrow we'll be dealing with the altars. Mm. So make it a point to be there. Yes, Lord. Your life must move forward. If evil altars can bring setbacks, then the altar of God can bring divine speed. Mm. If evil, evil altars can make people go mad and do all kinds of things. Mm. Then man of God, Papa. when your altar is in place, make sure that for this week, mm. your altar is in place. And then you establish that altar. Mm. And make sure that within this one week prayer and fasting, and, and, and the conference will be where? Fantastic. Santa and Christian, Christian, Christian village. village. Yeah. Make sure you also join. 23rd. Build tw on 23rd. Yeah, 6 uh, p.m. will be the reporting time. Okay. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. will be the reporting time. Okay. Make sure you join. And the Lord will bless your life. And make sure your altar is always on fire. Friend, friend, I want to encourage you. Make it a point. Make it a point. That your altar is on fire. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Father, I give you glory for this service. And I thank you for this opportunity for sharing your word. As my prayer. Oh Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God. Hallelujah. Amen.
Hallelujah. 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 What are we saying to daddy? What are we saying to our father? What are we saying to our man of God for tonight? What are we saying to daddy? What are we saying to Reverend Prince Joshua Ofori Apia? What are we saying to Reverend? What are we saying to the Reverend of God? A man who have devoted himself, availed himself for the Lord to be to use tonight. Oh my God. I believe somebody have been blessed this evening. I believe somebody have been blessed this evening. And I know somebody have also received a testimony. I, I know for sure. Because in my spirit eye, I see a lot of signs and wonders that was following the Lord, the word that came out of his man servant. And I know people are receiving instant testimonies and instant miracles. Hallelujah. What are we saying to daddy? I want to see somebody type in a, a word of appreciation for daddy. I want to see somebody saying something to daddy. I want to see somebody saying something something to daddy. I want to see somebody saying something to daddy in a form of appreciation and thanks, thank giving, thanks giving. If I want to be thank daddy. Bless I, this one is for daddy. So you are saying it. What are we saying to daddy? Reverend Prince Joshua Ufuri Apia. Yeah. But I love him so much. He's deep when it comes to the word. He's deep. Papa, God bless you so much. Amen. God, God bless, bless you, you so opportunity. much. Eva, we are privileged to have you. We, we are privileged to have you. Yeah. And just like I said it earlier, you are highly favored. Glory you Jesus. are highly favored. Mm. For we to have that D life on our broadcast means you are highly favored. And I take this opportunity and this moment to make a prophetic declaration upon your life that every word that came out of our from our daddy's <coughs> mouth may, may it have an impact in your life. May it have an impact in your life. From today, every altar that was manipulated by demons in your family, I pray may it be condemned, may it be broken, may it come to an end for the altar of the Lord to be raised in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said for the altar of the Lord to be rebuilt in your life. Mm. I pray for everybody who is undergoing all kinds of attack and all kinds of evil sin that may today be the last day of all those attacks mm. and of all those words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, we thank God for your life. We thank God for your life and we thank you so much for making time to join Eagle Side family this evening and also for you to make time to join us throughout the seven days fasting and prayer. Yeah. I am reminding you mm. today is the first day of the seven <coughs> days fasting and prayer. It could be 